Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. When did you get to Wellington? Uh, I got here in December. Are you having a good circuit so far? Uh, I am, actually. Uh, no big wins yet, but hopefully soon. Where were you before you came to Florida? Um, I was in Geneva, uh, basically in Europe for most of the fall, and my last event was Geneva. Laura, when did you start riding? I started riding when I was two, many, many, many years ago. Can you name the moment you knew you wanted to make a career in show jumping? You know, I mean, I always, I rode every day of my life, but I think it was when I was a teenager that I really put it together that I didn't ever want to do anything else. And how many horses are you showing here? I am showing uh, eight horses, a lot of horses here. Can we meet them? Of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a few Kelsey's treats here. Um, well, this would be my Olympic partner, Balutinu, Balu, or we call him Boo Boo. And what is the most important ingredient you need to be able to jump at the level you do? Well, I mean, I think the most important ingredient to jump at a high level is to have the horse that can do it. Um, but quite obviously, uh, after that, you need the whole team that comes around it. You know, the, the groom, the vets, the blacksmiths, the physio people, the owner. Um, so, but, but ultimately, you've got to have the horse to do it. And what horse are you riding in the Horsewear Grand Prix on Saturday night? Um, well, I'm riding my longtime partner, Kung Fu, who's just right here behind you. And why did you pick Kung Fu? Well, I picked Kung Fu. I've, he's actually had a slow circuit. We've been just giving him some time off. And so um, I just wanted to target towards the end and I knew it was horsewear week. Uh, so I wanted to hopefully go with one of my best shots. And what is your horse, have you met your horse of a lifetime yet? Well, I have met my horse of a lifetime. Uh, I hope he won't be the only one, but um, that horse would be Cedric. I think most people who know me know Cedric. Um, and where is he now? He is living his best life in England, retired, um, loving, loving everything. I mean, he, he never wants to ever have a saddle ever again. <laughs> and did you ever get nervous in Grand Prix? Um, I don't get nervous now. I, when I was younger, for sure I did. But now I think I'm, I'm more just focused on sort of what the job is, where it's going to be difficult, where I think I can improve things, so not so much nervous. And what helps you ground yourself and stay focused when you're jumping in championships and for Team USA? You know, I don't know what it is about jumping on teams, but it's something that I've always enjoyed and um, I think there's a lot of pressure to it and I don't know why I don't seem to get too nervous while jumping team, so I, I, I can't give you any real reason, but I love it. And what do your horses do in their downtime? My horses love to be turned out in the paddock. They spend hours out eating grass and rolling and running and bucking. And what is your favorite horsewear blanket and why? Well, my favorite horsewear blanket would be the turnout rug. Um, I think it's, the, it's sturdy. It has the best, you know, um, sur singles and straps, and the horses never move them. They feel like they can be free and run around, and yet it it it's, doesn't move. And I just, for me, it's the best. It's the best turnout rug I've ever seen, and it's good for um, it's good for them. It keeps them clean, and it also keeps them warm. Your competition schedule seems quite full on. Do you have much time to train the younger horses? I do. I, I try to, you know, I have a few young horses here. I also have Julie Wells, my rider, who's in Spain, and she's got quite a few young horses there. So she's, she's keeping them going, and, and I'm doing a bit. And can you name three things that brought you to where you are now? Um, well, uh, determination, um, perseverance, probably, and... Um, and my love of horses. Uh, and where do you go after WEF? Uh, I go after WEF, I go, come on Blue. Um, I head back to Europe. So I'm uh, back there in the middle of April. Amazing. Laura, thank you so much for your time today and good luck in the Horsewear Grand Prix. Well, thank you so much. And uh, it's been really fun seeing you guys.
Bye. Come on, Baloo. See you guys later. Bye.